Uh oh, here comes a JPG. Shit in hell. Japanese playing game. I set up all the volumes and everything, but that sounded loud. But it might not have been. 0308. What? Is this going to be on the same level as 4pm? I get that feeling whenever I see a game name that is, like, numbers. Even though 4pm isn't just numbers, but I don't know. There's probably going to be a lot of dodginess. Don't expect good games, I just kind of installed anything that looked like it could be playable. Is the audio work? Oh, now it, now it gets set properly when I open the audio menu. Thanks for that. Why do so many games get that wrong? So many games just can't remember the settings. I guess not so many, but indie games often do that, unless they're good. Is that almost all of Europe? Hmm. Naff. Yeah, I want more 4pm's. Still need to get around to doing my replay of 4pm. Story mode, I guess. April 3rd, 2017, 2.33, date of your death. You were exactly... You were exactly on the train that arrived on Metro Station with the bodies of innocent, already dead people. You are a sinner. I'm worried about jump scares because indie horror games or whatever, but... Only by redeeming your most terrible sins committed in life can you get from purgatory in the best place. Get out of your dirty soul, did that say? I can't get out of my soul. I am my soul. It's, it's the body that you can get out of. Grass. I thought I was on a train. But I, I, saw, I tried to like, looked at the videos on the store pages and stuff, trying to get a good idea of what kind of game it might be and not bothering with games that seem like they would just be cheap jump scare games. Whoa, nice jagged knuckles there, dude. Or not knuckles, the finger bones, whatever. Finger joints. Ooh. Whoop. Welcome. Thanks. I've got a knife. Oh no, cry of fear. Ah, sensitivity. Oh no, sensitivity. Holy shit, why was that so loud? Oh great. Are the scares going to be um, loud? Number one, basics. Help no one. Pull out from the energy shortage. Something like that. Maybe. But yeah, hopefully people will be fine. Oh yeah, I should charge up my DS and PSP and stuff. GZ Doom. That, that always works for me, luckily. Things just don't work properly. I mean, it might be David Zemansky quality. Anyway, we'll see. Because he doesn't make very good st Oh no! No, I guess he does. On the phone come messages from an unknown person. From that person you get the assignment and advance along the storyline. L for flashlight? What the hell? What a great button! The game has tips. You can activate them at any time. If you have a weapon in your hand, you can take the phone in your left hand while showing a hint. Oddly specific set of circumstances required. You can get acquainted with the management in more detail in the management tab. What, what do you mean the management? You can find it in the main menu or pause. Can I change the controls? No. Well, we don't need the flashlight on right now. But I might as well keep it on, I don't see any battery. Whoop whoop. I am glad that someone special like you will keep me company. Now you're in the midst of the world of the living and the world of the dead. In this place, everyone pays their bills. Yet, as a result, they acquire eternal peace. In these places, their rules, their ways. Great, good to know bills are still with you in the between life or whatever the hell. I ain't ever gonna touch Cry of Fear. ZDL. Oh, I don't think I've heard of that. 
Unless I have, or I don't know what it is anyway. Uh, during your worthless life. Oh, thanks. Why is this an isekai opening? I was just a worthless gamer in life. Uh, you managed to do a lot of bad things. This beautiful meadow is the starting point. Only from here there is the entrance to the soul bunker, and there is no way back. I give you this wonderful opportunity to visit my soul. You have an unforgettable journey. I might have. Kill- shit, do kill the radio actually, sorry. Oh my god, reflections. That don't really match up properly. Look at this guy. Look at that jacket. It's the guy from Painkiller. Well, can't deny, the reflection is a nice thing to see. Chonk. Go down to the bunker. Yeah? And speedy cleansing. I might have missed a message. Which is unfortunate. Oh no, it's one of those games where you find needles lying about. Oh, you just use them immediately in this one. I turd net. What do you want? From the hopper down? What? You'll go to bathe your sins. From the hopper down. This place is unusual, and with every your return to it, here's something's changing. To free navigate through it, it is necessary to light the lights. Light the light, actually. Oh god! Yeah, it does feel that way, which is preferable. I like broken English. It's fun. In the game, there are several types of objects for interaction. Doors, equipment, levers, etc. Items with which you can in interact are highlighted. God, they're so loud, I guess. Oh, heavens. Scrumptios. M-M-M-M, yes. Scrumptios. I'm arriving. It's Chaos Dainit. I'm arriving, and so am I. Oh! No. Thanks, Muffgeb. Is it Tuesday? No. No, it's... what is it? Thursday. Items with which you can interact are highlighted, except doors. It will show you if you can interact with the object, the corresponding icon appears in the corner of the screen. Fine. Stock sound effect, I guess I better turn it up a little bit. Unfortunately. Turn the music up anyway. There hasn't been any NPC talking yet. Oh shit, no, I think the menu's just loud anyway. Chonk. What's that? Something's changing. I already read that. Whoa! Scare we. I should have put a better sound on though. Because imp is too like... <clears throat> texture. is too familiar. But I'm good at finding these textures, aren't I? Of all the places to look. Of all the places to look. No. Ugh. It tastes like plastic, particularly today. Is that an ohay gal? I mean, an orgasm face. I don't know. But there was a honk sound. Now, as soon as a cheap jump scare happens in any of these demos today, that'll be immediate quit from me. Just so you know. Twat! Now that I've thought of that, I don't want to play anymore. You just know something's going to pop up and scream at any point because it's a bloody indie horror game. And despite my best. Okay, the door does open. Despite my best efforts to, like, check them a little bit. They're obviously not going to show them in all the trailers. What is that vibrating? Excited lady. Neckweeb. No shits can pal the smugness. Pooping. Pooping is a good thing to be smug about. 
I can't read it. You can't go any further until you light the fire within yourself. Ah, oh, that's deep, that is. What fire do you want me to light? Do you want me to turn a light on? Oh, that does open now. This really has the feeling of that kind of game where something is going to be either behind you when you turn around and zoom towards you or it's just going to pop up in your face. Nope. Ah, I haven't lost any health yet so I've made a mistake doing this. Why? Why the hell am I playing horror games? The only reason I chose Evil Within and Penumbra is because Evil Within doesn't look scary and Penumbra I've played games of before. So I kind of trust them a little bit more. Why am I going into the unknown here? This is just asking for trouble. I'm severely regretting my decision already. What am I supposed to be doing here? Do you just want me to use this? 25 units. Extremely cultured enemy. Depravity guild, I want to go there. UK scheduled cutoff here. Yeah. This is what it's going to be like. If there's no lights it will be scary. If that happens, play Portable Silent Hill. That's the point. I haven't played Silent Hill Origins yet. To get yourself in the spook mood. Spookaboo! Locked. Need... I think it said need... Yeah, need an electricity. A single electricity. I'll find one somewhere, I'm sure. At least it leaves nice decals. Sort of. Yeah, randomised directions. I like it when games do that. Um, where do I find an electricity at this time of night? I need to get around to watching interspecies reviewers properly. Mm. Oh, Fudge. even that was a little bit scary. Takis fuego. Takis fuego. I could go for some right now. The spicy ones to warm me up on a cold winter's night. Thanks, Reptiloid. Oh. Well, I'm stuck already. There's no ladder to get back up, so I've also got to do something down here. Something behind this door. No. <laughs> Climb this ladder. Play Outlast, are you? That game is like entirely jump scares pretty much, isn't it? And the chase scenes. I think... I didn't get far in that. I got into like the first... Just after you get into the building, there's a dark room you go into. With like a body on a, a pole. There shouldn't be spoilers, hopefully, because it's like ten minutes into the game. Um... But like, they, everyone seems to be dead, but then you go close and they suddenly get in your face. And there's some guy in a wheelchair just after that room that you walk past and he like, screams at you or something. So I was just like, no, fuck this. I know exactly what this game is now, and I'm not interested. Oh, clonk. Okay, I can get on these. Nothing works in this demo though. Oh. oh no, can I get stuck down here? I guess not. Turn on electricity. Oh, right. Wait, didn't I try this door? Immediately forget the hint button exists. Oh, why does it have to be all the way over there? Look at these doors that are going to fling open and scream at me. That was loud. 
I don't care if everything else is quiet. I'm turning things down. You may pop up a face in my face, but you're not going to scream at me. Not successfully, anyway. Crunk. That's extremely quiet now, though. Some kind of transmission. As far as you. Sounds like we got to the same place then. I want to see an egg laying scene. I think I watched the first episode of Interspecies Reviewers, but that was all. Screech. Now, if I know horror games, this is about when something scary is going to happen. It's giving you that to make you think, oh, that was scary. Right, I'm going to be okay for a few minutes now because something scary has just happened, so they're not going to do anything. Combat system. Oh, especially now, a monster's going to appear. Oh dear. Yeah, no wonder you like it. I didn't know that about one of the main characters. You always have a knife. He has a little damage. It's a male knife. But he is effective in closed and dark places. Well, everywhere. This whole place is dark. Except it's not always closed, so if I open a door, I guess the damage of the knife goes down. You can use it only if you have a phone in your hand. What? Why? Shooting causes a lot of noise. Think twice before pulling the trigger, because you can attract too much attention to yourself. Uh, life lessons here. The game does not have the usual HUD, so you should always check the number of rounds. Oh, it's condemned. Why has this normal looking shotgun got a random digital number count on the side? This isn't a future game. Whoa. Big glow. Chonk. Why is that on the side? I guess it's a laser pointer, even though I haven't got a laser pointer on this. Makarov. Well, you can't check your ammo for this, apparently. Hello? Do it. What was that? A very quiet smash. Okay, it's all lit up now, so it's not going to be scary. Now proceed to the main output. What? What is the main output? I'm scared. Oh. Oh, it's just a bloke. Oh, okay. Is he gone now? No, there he is. Maybe this isn't a scary game after all. So, you like it, huh? Oh yeah, look at that ass. I love it. Yum. Ooh. Oh, maybe I do like it. It's pretty attractive. No, it's got human... Oh, it's got human feet and it just vanishes. Without... It just vanishes without any warning. So that could put a damper on your, ni your nice night, couldn't it? I don't know what that noise was. Hi, Alex. Checked out Dead Space Remake trailer I have. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully EA haven't dug their fingers too far into the game. And hopefully it'll be good. And hopefully I can play it. Because I looked at the, re the uh, recommended or minimum requirements yesterday. And it seems like some of it is a bit higher than what I have. But we'll see. Shite and bags. I don't know if the light does anything. Let's find out. Oh, cheer up! 
Oh, they didn't kill you in one hit like your friend. Good job there's used needles everywhere. Probably not used actually, but... I hope you are well today, Alex. And hopefully Callisto Protocol will be good as well. Apparently Tencent is involved in that or something. A nose hair trimmer. Yeah, I guess. I usually just use the electric shaver and just angle the corner into my nostril a bit and it deals with it, but probably a good idea to get a proper trimmer. Cha-chonk! And um, negative atmosphere as well, I just checked on today, because I remembered that exists. I haven't heard much from that lately. Is this door going to bust open? <laughs> Inspected that not immediately, I looked at the face first. But the feet, I guess, is like the next place to look. Well, the butt first, then the face. And then... And then the feet. Yeah, this ain't so bad after all. I mean, obviously, it's not a particularly great game so far, but... Remember. At least it's not jump scary so far. So as long as it keeps this up... This is a game I could play. Wait, what was that? Cancelled it after one episode. Dubs, yeah. I I like dubs. Pretty much exclusively watch dubs, so I should be okay. Wait, what? Need to look like my new profile picture. Me? Oh, oh, Muffgeb. Oh yeah, the, the giant moustache. Hopefully there's some lizard girls or something in interspecies reviewers. Vampire. He'll suck your di- oh, uh, blood! He'll suck your blood! Why did I come in here then? Oh yeah, scorn. Hopefully that'll be good. A bigger booty. It better not be Nuss for... I'll have to have a look afterwards. Clip the... Oh yeah, the, the clip creator seems to bug out sometimes lately, which is rather annoying. Never had any problems with it before, but lately, sometimes the page just doesn't load. Familiar shapes? Ah yes, boxes. They're in a lot of games I play. What shapes are we talking about? This shape that's going to jump out from around the Cronra. Oh. In school days, you showed yourself from a not very pleasant side. You stole money from your classmates, offended the weak, were rude to your elders, you will redeem your sin according to Sharia law, whoever that is. You after all confess... oh, Islam. I guess it, it must be like not an English made game then. Not Russian either. Used to indie games being Russian, at least the badly translated ones. The most peaceful religion on the planet? Find 33 room. Oh, just immediately change the subject there. Don't seem to get many games out of the Middle East. There was that, um... What was it called? I've forgotten, I only talked about it in a recent stream. Unearthed. Something Ibn Butata. I think that was from the Middle East. Who's that? Oh dear. Wait, no, it is Russian? And of the Olympics. Oh. Why do you have so much health? Long reload. Whee! 
Nice pose. They're not actually sexy, don't worry. Oh no, I didn't get that quote, I don't remember where it came from. Yeah, Twitch is just getting more and more broken. That's alright though, they're focusing on the important stuff, putting mid-roll ads in. Forced ones at that. Keep getting those when I'm trying to watch streams lately. Very annoying. Turn that shit off, it's too bright. Whee! They're having the times of their lives. Tea posing. I guess that's what they do for fun in Russian schools. What a lovely room. I guess that's where he was hiding. Anything funky? Not really. Can I save it? No. Yeah, you're all gonna be in this place eventually to redeem yourselves for your lewd sins. At least talk about dragon butts, not anime girls. Oh my god, Whoa. a new subscription! Mm. It's Inferefni. Voice is Cry of Fear 2, your favorite game that you still need to play stream, Kappa. I ain't touching Cry of Fear, but yeah, Cry of Fear 2 is alright so far. Not really though, but I expected worse. Thank you muchly for the continued subscription in for FD. Much appreciated. And I hope you are well today. Don't work. Hmm, I guess mobile Twitch hasn't got all the extra stuff or whatever for some reason. <clears throat> oh. Oh, it wasn't that wasn't that quote about Zach? I think I think that happened during the Jazz Jackrabbit mod stream. Yeah, I've never been religious, but I was interested in religion stuff back in school as well. We did uh, some religious classes, and we we had I don't remember if it was multiple religions at a time, but I remember we had a class like an arts and crafts thing where we would make things. I don't remember exactly what. Like make things... I, I don't remember. All I remember is t um, shiny foil paper stuff and sprinkly, sparkly stuff. Glitter, that's what it's called. And glue. And we would make things relating to various religions. That was fun. Learning about it all and everything. I'm glad you're all right. A bit of a mood. Ugh, don't play that. It's junk. Uh, here everything is inundated, as in your head. Through the archive you can easily get into the school. As far as I remember, you should know, the way into the archive lies through the office of physics. Only you, only now you can go there through violence, as you like to do, liked to do, when being a schoolboy with complexes. Such a well written story, forget Silent Hill 2. Play 0304. Why is it called that? Chachonk. Loud. At least I'm getting... Ah! Oh god, scary. <laughs> uh, just, just walk through that then and I can't hit you because you're inside the desk now. That's great, that is. I guess I'll die, TM. That one was only scary because it was crawling. Where am I? I guess you get checkpoints. Even though crawling should technically be sexier. Oh, I got all my elf back. Oh, it's Proteus checkpoints again. Flop. Ta da! 
Get out of here, you gremlin. It does seem to be... Yeah, I think it was Unity as well. It said Unity when I started it up, if I remember right. Skeptical. New. Yeah. I've never believed in anything religious, gods or anything, but... It was interesting, and still is. It's just... Oh. It's just not good most of the time. Look at all the bleeding eyes. Scary. Like, I can respect beliefs, but a lot of them probably seem, or at least Christianity, like, I guess forces people into it and makes them feel shame if they don't, or whatever. But I ain't gonna criticize people. Believe what you want to believe, but don't, like, inconvenience other people if they don't follow your beliefs. So much ammo. It's scary we in there. Oh, in Inferefni was... I think came from when I was playing that Doom mod. Was it called Dude? Where like everything was mirrored and the episode Inferno I think because the the word was like mirrored down the middle it turned into in inferefni so I think since then I've been calling infernal inferefni now what find a way to get into the archive I can't there's wood in the way Always trust in the power of gun. Junk, I didn't even use the door this time. There's no floor out there. That looks like it should open. I guess not. I didn't even get anything, did I? Crowbar. Oh. Wait, is there one in this room that opened? Would you kindly find a crow bear or something? I can't seem to find a crow bear. Anyway, I've played this for half an hour. We've got ten games to do. There's an arrow. I probably should have followed the arrow. Never mind, there's nothing there. It's not awful. It's not jump scary though. And that's the best compliment I could give. That's all you could wish for, really, isn't it, when you play an unknown horror game? Chonk. It does have some bad audio balancing, though. Well done, these people. They can't even get the credits right. But yeah, it's not awful. Better than I expected, but still wouldn't really play it. <laughs>